He was an incredibly game racehorse. The charismatic pacer never missed a dance, whether it was in Canada or the United States. Cam was a two-time horse of the year and finished his career with 28 consecutive wins. Owned by the Camp Fella Syndicate, the horse now stands at Dreamare Farms in New Jersey, where Bob Bonney is the managing partner. I can't take credit for Camp Fella. That, uh, you know, Norm Clements uh, had the good fortune to race Camp Fella and, uh, you know, look after his career as a racehorse. And then I believe uh, Norm with uh, his partner, Norm Faulkner, and I believe Ed Freeberg and uh, Greg Coleman put together the syndication on Camp Fella uh, after his three-year-old year or just prior to his four-year-old year. And they were very successful in getting, you know, a lot of good breeding uh, operations and, for, you know, various farms uh, in on the horse. And, you know, it certainly had, uh, you know, a significant effect in getting the right kind of mares to the horse the first couple of years. But uh, Norm Clements was the, I would say, is, was the uh, guiding force behind Camp Fella. But Bob Bonney is now responsible for Camp Fella's role as a stallion. And in a sense, Dream Air Farms is a showcase for that great racehorse and brilliant young sire. We purchased the farm from Ed Friedberg in 1985, and uh, as part of that purchase, uh, assumed the rights to lease to Cam Fella. So we've been breeding. We had owned shares in the horse prior to that, and had bred to the horse prior to that. Obviously, Camtastic, the first crop of Cam Fella, was before we were here. He was a uh, fall of 86 excuse me, fall of 85, and uh, so we bred him in 84 before we were actually in here. So we've always been big supporters of the horse. I've always been a big believer in the horse, obviously, and now having him here, it just, you know, just enhances our operation. Camp Fella's sensational racing career is but a distant memory now, but his career as a sire may be just beginning. One of his sons, Camptastic, became Pacer of the Year as a two-year-old in 1987, and another of his offspring, Goalie Jeff, looks to wrap up 1989 three-year-old pacing honors tonight.